Hello and welcome to Interactive CAD and Tech. Today I'm going to be showing you how to draw an aerofoil in Autodesk Fusion 360. It's a very nice, easy, simple shape to do um, and good if you're just new to modelling and new to the software just to get your head around it. So just to get started what I'm going to do is go up to the view cube on the right hand side and I'm going to start by drawing a sketch on the front plane. So to draw a sketch on the front plane I'm going to go up to the left hand side just above this create and go to the sketch tab. And then you can see I've got a blue axis and a red axis, so that's the XZ. And you can see on the cube that XZ, so that's this plane is my front plane. So I'm going to click on that. So now I'm drawing a sketch on the front plane. I'm going to go up to my sketch tools at the top and I'm going to draw a line from the date and point all the way along. So now I've got a horizontal line coming off the date and point. And I'm going to go up to my dimension tool. I'm going to make it 300 long. So that a little bit. So now I'm going to go back up to where the sketch tools are. I'm going to go to the drop down under the sketch tools and go to create. And I'm going to create an arc, a three point arc. So if you miss that, the drop downs create arc and a three point arc. And on the end of the 300 mil line, I'm going to draw a three-point arc. So it, as long as it's parallel and horizontal, those two points are parallel to the end of your line. That's all you need to do. And then I'm going to click dimension, and I'm going to give it a radius of 18 mil. So now I have a straight line at 300 going along the x-axis, and then I have a um, a three point arc um, that's all parallel with the end point of the 300 and now I'm going to go up to the fit point spline tool and I'm going to click the arc first, the end point of the arc and I'm going to click the end point of the straight line and then now as you can see you can shape it how you want and get some geometry um, from the aerofoil but what I'm going to do is just click here and then I'm going to right click. So to get this menu up, I've clicked, right clicked on my mouse and I'm going to go over to OK. Now I'm going to go up to the modify tab. I'm going to click trim and I'm going to trim away the fat. So now if you want to adjust the shape, depending on what you want to do with the aerofoil, you can use these handles to do it. So now I've got the first aerofoil profile that I need. I'm going to go up to sketch and I'm going to go to finish sketch. I'm going to go up to my little view cube here and click the top top right corner if it'll let me. There we go. And now I'm going to go to the construct section of the features. I'm going to click down on the menu and click offset plane. And now it's come up with the planes I can select to offset. So what I'm going to do is go, I'm going to do the XZ axis which is what we've drawn this profile on. I'm going to offset it 500 mil. And now go back up to my create section, go to create sketch, and I'm going to select the plane we've just offset. I'm going to follow the same process, but to start it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw in midair a horizontal line. I'm going to make it 150 this time, not 300. Then I'm going to go to create, and I'm going to go down to point here. I'm going to draw a point, and what I'm going to do is draw a point on this line. I'm going to draw it bang in the middle, so to, so you know it's coincident with the middle. You get this little triangle. So so if I'm not in the middle, nothing it, nothing happens. If like you see that little triangle, means I'm drawing a point, um, back, and I'm snapping to the middle of the line. So if I click that, you can see now I'm dragging this line on a point uh, to the center line. So I'm going to click the point I just created. Uh, click control if you're on Windows on Mac it's command so now I've got both those points created I'm going to click coincident so now I've, I've got the center of this line coincident with the start point of this aerofoil and now I'm going to follow the same process go up to create arc three point arc and then I'm going to go to dimension 
make it an 18 mil radius again so it matches and then do my spline and not what i'm going to do now i'm going to click the top point and then the bottom point of the line but i'm not going to overdraw it this time that would just i did that just to show how flexible the spline can be so now if i right click i haven't so i haven't clicked this time down here so what i'm going to do is just right click press ok so now i can adjust this using these handles a bit of a kick on it so now if i press finish sketch i've got two profiles 500 mil apart and now if i just click save i'm going to go to create and then i'm going to go to loft so i'm going to loft here and here so now you can see your aerofoils taking shape so there's a few extra guide rails and stuff which I'll go through on a different video, but this is just a nice simple aerofoil modeling exercise. So you've got profile one, which is your first sketch, profile two, which is your second sketch. And then you can see these little handles here. You can use as guide, this is your guide curve. So you can actually twist it if you really want to, but obviously you don't really tend to twist aerofoils. So I'll press undo then, that's why that disappeared. So I'll loft it again, just click that profile one, profile two, and then I'm going to go to OK on the right hand side on this loft menu here. And there you have it, an aerofoil in Autodesk Fusion 360. So if you want to edit this shape, if you're 3D printing it or doing something for a model, what you can do is if you right click edit your sketch, and if it doesn't let you edit your sketch, it's because you've not saved it. So if you press save, you can then right click and edit your sketch. And then you can click your spline, move the handles until you get your desired shape you're after. Just finish that sketch. And then if I edit sketch one, make, put it a bit, make it a bit fatter. So now that's got a bit of a lump in it. So you can play around with it, depending on obviously what you're using it for, whether it's a school project or like a little model aircraft or something. I hope you found this little uh, quick Fusion 360 video helpful. If you have, uh, please do subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.